Welcome to this Yali Traders here again. Alright guys, had a little bit of technical difficulty this morning. So now I'm on my backup um, laptop. So what's going on with Mullin here? So as you can see, Mullin hit another all-time low yesterday. 15 cents and 50. So since um, hitting that all-time low, Mullin has pushed up a bit um, after market, pre-market, and we have seen quite a bit of volume coming in. So let's jump right into Yahoo Finance and see what's going on. So on Yahoo Finance here, as you can see, we have got a little bit of run up, a little bit of push, let me not say run up, um, <clears throat> up to um, around 19 cents and there's a pullback so we are actually around 10 percent up since this morning but yesterday guys we dropped 30 percent huge drop 30 percent as you can see the market cap is down at 42 million and the volume if you take a look at the volume here it's uh crazy 150 million um shares has been traded since this morning and we are just at um one hour in in terms of the the trading day 150 million so did any news come out so let's take a look here so this came out uh earlier six hours ago mullin announces moratorium on new financing for balance of 2023 company has sufficient capital for at least the next 12 months that's what they're saying so let's dive right in and see what what's actually going on here so uh let's go right in so mullin announces today a, um, an investor financing monet moratorium for the balance of 2023 and the company has sufficient capital on hand for at least the next 12 months Remaining investor option expires on June 30th, 2023. Um, company assets are unencumbered with the exception of 7.3 million outstanding debt. So what does all that mean? So the company um, continues to trade at a steep discount to its current cash position. So we, we got this information before, so I won't go back into that. Um, since March 31st, 2023, the company stock has declined over 95%. We know that already. So despite the decline in stock price, management believes that the company has already met or is, in, in pos is positioned to meet the previously announced objectives. Yes, not saying anything much there. So as the company last finance, last reported financial position on March 31st, 2023, it had um, 86.7 million of cash available for its operations. And uh, now they're saying um, 68 cents of cash value per share. I thought it was 38 cents since recently. Uh, you know, these guys keep changing their, their stuff. Mullin book value per share was uh, two dollars and eight cent on March thirty first, twenty twenty three. So I guess that's before the the reverse split. So actually, this um, what they have published isn't really saying anything much. So let's see if there's anything on on Twitter that we can um, take a look at. So this came out from um, Brandon Bell. I don't know how true this is, but it seemed to be a, a Mullin bull. So he's saying, I just had a lengthy conversation with Dan Sanchez. DM asked him to reach out to me after sending him an email this evening. I've, I voiced mine as well as our Mullin army concerns, considering the sales price and manipulation. He did say that we are working closer with um, Share Intel. I focus on many of us having a dislike finding puts were held, sorry, were held 
and that we would like to see um, David Mitri buy back shares and show confidence in us retailers. He said he couldn't say anything specific one way or the other, but it has to come up in conversation later. I told him we would like to see PR stepped up showing production efforts slash activities. He agreed and said he felt that uh, felt that was coming. He agreed someone was definitely behind the manipulation and targeting us. Well, uh, I'm wondering who's behind the manipulation here. <clears throat> because the company doesn't seem to be doing much to help itself, including the CEO. All right. He said... They are working very hard to make sure that we get through this. Just thought I would share and hopefully see some major improvements very soon. And they ended with bullish. So again, guys, this is not really saying anything much in terms of, um, you know, showing a positive light on the company with regards to say, yes, production is now started. You see, you know, the production line moving. So I guess until we actually see that, then we can, we'll have confidence in, in the stock once more. So if we take a look at what's going on with the options, uh, as you can see, the option calls so far for this morning is 10,000. Um, yesterday, uh, it was 26,000 that did, it ended up at, at the end of the day. Um, open interest for this week seems interesting at least open interest has increased is that now it's now at 21,000 for friday which is good um next week 8,000 following week six and i think the 21st is when we actually see a spike so not that on this one but the 21st is when we're going to see a spike so there should be something happening by the 21st so just as i said before just mark your calendars for that all right so not much to add guys just very disappointing in terms of where we are now in terms of the stock uh i would say all we need to hear or see is that production is moving um for the stock to start you know doing something so do you think this is the end of mullin or do you think this is the bottom you know, are we going to start moving upwards? So hit, hit me up in the comments. Let me know um, what your thoughts are. As usual, as you know, I give it the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys.